school standing young men. Product of Apex education, of course, they were former students of this prestigious institution. First up, we have on my left or right, Cecil Polar, former head prefect, sound engineer, and of course the host of Apex Forum. He is currently the QA QC inspector for Exxon Mobil. What an achievement. Congratulations to you, sir. Thank you, sir. And we have on my right your left, Yovindra Totoram, Guyana's youngest pilot with three stripes. I can see you having three stripes there. First officer flying the Trilander and Islander aircraft. Congratulations to you, sir. Cecil, tell us, um, in which batch did you roll the CSEC examination at Apex Education? How many subjects? And after that, what has inspired you in joining the petroleum sector? Where did you went for your training? I finished CSEC at Apex Education in the batch of 2017. I attained 12 CSEC subjects. After that, I went to work for the oil and gas sector. I went to Trinidad and I trained to become a QA QC inspector, also a case lab attendant and a calibration technician at the same time. It was a very vigorous eight months training, but at the end of it all, I became successful in my field and my expertise. I have gained two years experience so far, and with that experience, I just want to achieve more and more in my life. I'd like to say thank you for Apex Education to so make me feel that I could actually become someone successful in life. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Cecil Polar. So, Yovendra Totoram, which batch, in which batch did you roll the CSEC examination? And uh, I understand that you went to Florida to pursue studies in becoming a pilot. So that's two questions. Which batch did you roll the examination here with Apex Education? And tell us, where did you pursue your studies in Florida, USA to become a pilot? So, um, I finished in 2017 and um, I went to Epic Flight Academy in uh, Florida. And how long did you study there at Epic Flight Academy? And which aircraft are you specialized in to fly? Uh, it's about a year and a half and um, well, I'm specialized in flying Cessna 172, which is a single engine, but currently flying multi. So I understand, chatting earlier, um, you made some flights within the Caribbean region. So which countries uh, did you, you had the privilege of flying into? Which airports you touched them into? And locally in Guyana, internally, which, which areas you, you fly? Well, I did fly from Guyana to Suriname, that's Bengal International, and from Guyana to uh, Trinidad, that's um, PRO International. Uh, I did a lot of uh, internal flight throughout the end. Cecil, for those persons who are watching us right now on Facebook and on Apex Forum, and maybe persons who are affected with COVID and school dropouts, they're not privileged in pursuing private education. Is it the end of life? What word of encouragement would you give to these people? And you can make references to friends um, doubting their abilities, especially you venture that being able to become a pilot. So make references to that as well. So, you guys out there, on Apex Forum, on Facebook Live, all I want to say to you guys is that anything that you put your mind to, you can accomplish it. In life, people always try to tell you that you can't do something. But it's your will and the power that you have to prove them wrong, to show them that you are capable of outstanding things. Don't let no one come into your life and try to tell you that you can't and impossible is not a scientific word, as we were told. Nothing is impossible. Once you say that you will do something, and you put your mind to it, you will achieve it, it don't matter what circumstances may come your way in life. They build you. They don't break you down. Failure is the first attempt at learning. If you never fail, you never learn. You learn from your failures. So anything that you feel from, don't let that bring you down. Don't stick at that level. You rise above the location and you show the world what you can do to the world and well the things that you can accomplish in this life. And the other part of the question, persons like who are considering to drop out of school, um, what would you say to them? Is it worthwhile the sacrifice? 
So you gotta think about this thing in a very serious way. You spend five years in high school. You stay in double A, finishing your SB, is studying hard. Now, we all would say that the last C second is in other schools and stuff, this school degrees weren't marked correctly. But don't let that be your downfall. You could always go and resist. Don't make that actually don't make that circumstance be the reason why you can't do something. There's always another time. You can go and research your exams, you could re you could go and review your results. There are a lot of things that you could do. Do not stick at that level. Don't consider yourself as a dropout. Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, those guys dropped out of universities. They did drop out of high school. You do not want to drop out at the base level. You have to work hard. Hard work and determination. Nothing good in life has come easy. You gotta push for it. You push, you push, and trust me. Trust me. We too, me, myself, and Kevin, we work very hard. Sleepless nights, come into Apex. Lessons, sun to Sunday. Hard work, make us the type of guys that we are today. And you, you could do this. If we could, you could, anyone could. Because we work for it. And if you work for it, you will become what you want to be. So I'm the director of studies, my name is Shazad Ali, and again we have two outstanding young men, former students of Apex Education. We have Cecil Pollard, who is a QA QC inspector for ExxonMobil. I hope that you guys can be able to give Ayana a good deal and to make Ayana uh, proceed with an upward trajectory. We want an economic boom, we want wealth in this country. And uh, of course he was a former student, and presenter on the Apex Forum, and of course the sound engineer and computer technician once he was a student at Apex Education. Congratulations to he's a dear friend of Sarsayev and Team Apex all the way. And I want you to continue to send those videos and those pictures so we can put it up so persons can believe and see our progress. And I have here also Ayana's youngest pilot, that's right, Jovinja Totoram. First officer currently flying the Trilander and Island aircraft who studied in Florida, US of A at the Epic Flight Academy. Congratulations to you, sir. What does this three stripe signify? Well, uh, it's a commercial pilot. Uh... Thank you very much.